Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday. That means it's time for what? Open cars. Open cars. All right, up first. Got an international package. This is from the UK, from Hubo Technologies. Um, this was, I believe, an eBay purchase. Um, I usually don't buy international unless it's something that's really hard for me to find. And this was, has been on my list for a while. It's definitely more difficult to find in the States. Um, this is one of the uh, haulers or uh, semi-trailers. This is a Matchbox Series Major Pack. Um, and this is the, let's see if I can read it. Bedford Articulate. Um, so this has the Walls logo on it here. Um, this is an older one. It's got the gray plastic wheels. And uh, I believe that I have the tractor to go with this. So this is one, um, the ice cream trailer that I've been looking for for a while. It's not in great shape, but um, I didn't pay that much for it. And it'll serve as a good placeholder in my collection until I find a better one. So, excited to get that one. Next. This one's from Joaquin, Wisconsin, I believe. I've got a few things in here. You guys know me. Ooh. When I find a good seller, I like to buy in bulk. in here so these I think were a uh, Facebook uh, buy group so for those of you that uh, are looking for some avenues outside of eBay um, there's a group on Facebook it's called vintage matchbox live and uh, there's a couple guys that are on there that are um, consignment sellers for people who are clearing out collections. Um, there's some really nice cars, uh, really reasonable prices. So uh, these came from one of there's those. There's another options. one? There are. There's a couple. So this one I bought. This is part of a uh, two-pack set. Um, so you got Eddie's Wrecker here. And then... Let's see which one this is. This is the uh, police wrecker in the black. And this is the police wrecker in the blue. Um, so this was kind of part of a uh, group of three. Um, I think I gave a couple bucks for each one of these. Um, I know this is not my typical uh, Matchbox stuff that I, I show on my videos. Typically I go with the older the vintage stuff, but um, I'll be honest. This was a total sentimental buy for me um, I had one of these as a kid and It was one of my favorite pieces and you know the fact that you could hook up your other matchbox to it and pull it around um, increase the uh, playability of it and so this was one of my favorite cars growing up and I've been looking for a replacement uh, ever since I saw it. And so they came with all three of these in a set. And like I said, total sentimental buy for me, um, but I had to pick it up. Uh, a couple other buys that I got in that same, uh, same auction for the same reason um, was one of these uh, Porsche uh, Castrol race cars. Um, love this. I had one as a kid. Mine is in nowhere near this shape. These are... All these are darn near mint. Um, you know, a couple on this one, there's a, a few light little nicks and scratches, but um, you know, for the most part, these cars are, are almost perfect. These have been in somebody's collection, not, uh, not really played with. Um, so these are just replacements for my childhood pieces. And then this one, I couldn't pass it up. Um, it's the uh, STP Racer. 
and it's uh, sponsored by Son of a Gun, which I use in my restorations. So um, anytime I'm trying to get all my black plastics, my tires, my interior pieces, anything that's plastic that I need to restore, um, I use Son of a Gun on it, and it brings it back like new. So when I saw a Matchbox car with Son of a Gun, I knew I had to pick that one up too. Um, the auctions typically run uh, Thursday nights and Saturday nights. Um, payment is due within 24 hours and they invoice you on Facebook. Um, and again, I don't think I paid more than probably $2 a car for anything uh, in this shipment. So very reasonable prices, really nice guys. It's a, it's a great community of people. Um, it's kind of the same people that show up for each one of the auctions. And, uh, you know, you kind of get to, to know someone or feel like you get to know someone, um, you know, what different people collect. And uh, it's been a fun networking thing for me as well. So if you're looking for uh, an alternative to eBay, check out a vintage Matchbox. Um, I think it's called Vintage Matchbox Live on Facebook. Um, and then uh, watch the, the calendar postings for when the different auctions are. The other thing that's really nice, ahead of the auctions, they always post a preview. And so they'll have pictures of all the cars that are going to be in the upcoming auctions. So you know, you know, if there's something you've been looking for, something that's harder to find, um, that you want to make sure you get in for that auction. Um, and then last but not least, I've got an envelope. This is from Michael Gervaisi in uh, Glenhead, New York. I'm always kind of hesitant when I get an envelope because it's not really very protective packaging. Um, and this was this was an eBay purchase, um, and this is for a current restoration that I've been doing. Um, I actually have my childhood version of the Snowcat, and the tracks on my childhood set are long since gone. And I know I can get reproductions, um, but the reproduction tracks are horrendously expensive. It's broken. It is broken because it's very old. Um, but I bought this model with, in very delicate shape, original tracks for less than I would have paid for a full set of reproduction tracks. So I really bought this just for the tracks. Um, also, I, I've got, there's a few different variations of these, and the variations fall in this area right here, whether or not it has raised lettering that talks about the track or not. Um, and this one doesn't, so that means I believe that this is a newer casting. Um, but I bought this really just for the original tracks, uh, so I could finish out one of my other restorations. So it's a little too bad that that one's broken there, and I don't think it was broken in the auction, so that probably happened in shipping, um, and probably due to the poor packaging of sticking it in an envelope, which is why I like boxes better. But uh, I'll take that up with the seller and see what we can do on that. So that's all I've got for us this week. Thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, catch us next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.